All right, and so to, so today we are taking it upon myself to to help you with a past question that I got hold of, and I believe you all have the 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 correct answers. But I want to assist you how I got all the correct answers so that you also learn and then pass this numeracy test once and for all. And so we want to take question one. With question one, even it says. Which one of the following strategies is correct for finding the cost of 98 shirt, shirts at 19 cities per shirt? And so we've been given the the number of shirts. The number of shirts. Hmm? To be what? The number of shirts as 98. Hmm? And then the per unit cost. As in one shirt per unit cost is equal to 19 cities eh? and so you've been told to find the cost of this it's just like you go to the market to buy oranges and then you, you want to buy 10 oranges but the woman says one orange is two cities so how much do you have to pay for the 10 oranges it's just a matter of multiplying the two cities by the 10 so you get 20 cities and so you will pay 20 cities to the woman and then the woman will give you the 10 oranges i hope you are clear so the same thing is here if you want to get the cost of these 99 98 shirts it's just a matter of the cost is equal to 98 times 19 which will give you 1862 which will give you 1862 ghana cities now, if you look at the options, we've been given 1,900 1, minus 36, 1,900 minus 38, 1,900 plus 36, 1,900 plus 38. It, it, it is telling you which of these options will, you, will it be equal to 1,862. So the answer is what? 1,900 minus 38, which is equal to 1,862. And so the correct answer for question one is B. The correct answer for question one is B. All right. So now let's go to number two. Let's go to number two. Mm? Let's go to number two. So with number two, a primary school complex has four streams. And each stream has eight classes. If the average class size in the class is 45, what is the total enrollment of the school? We say a school, a school has four streams. A school has four streams. A school has four streams. Hmm? A school has four streams. A, B, C, D. You get it? And it says that um, each stream has eight classes. 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 And then the, it says, it went on to say that the average class size in the school is 45. So if you look at these eight classes every class has 45 people in the class so every class has 45 people in the in the class are you okay good so so this is the school complex this is the school complex hmm? this is the it's, like, it's just like a community like um cape coast where as the cape and they say we have two four schools in cape coast we have four schools in Cape Coast. We are UCC, Cape Tech, Infantimine, and then maybe your guest school. And we are saying in each class or in each school, in each school there are eight classrooms. In each school there are eight classrooms, and in each classroom there are 45 students. How many students are in Cape Coast? You get it. So, so now from this we can see that we have 32 classrooms. We have 32 classrooms 32 classrooms in the whole in the whole school complex in the whole school complex 
and we got this 32 by multiplying 1, 2, 3, 4 by 8. You get it? So we have 32 classrooms in the whole school complex. And each classroom has how many? 45 students. So and each class can take 45 students. So how many people are in the... So you just multiply, multiply 32 by 45. This will give you 1440. So the answer for question 2 is C. Answer for question 2 is C. So we've been given a question. A primary school has four streams. One, two, three, four. And each stream has eight classrooms. One, two, three, four, five. Each stream, A, B, C, D, each of them have um, each of them has eight classrooms. And they say every class is 45. Every class is 45. So 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45, 45. So you add all the 45, you get 1440. You get it? Good. So now you realize that there are 32 classrooms in the whole school complex. There are 32 classrooms in the whole school complex because each stream has eight. So if if uh, each stream has eight, if each stream has eight, then it means that there are 32 classrooms in the whole school. And if and if each classroom has uh, 45 students, it means that there are 1,440 students in the classroom. So the answer for question two is C. Do it. All right, so let's look at um, question three. Let's look at question question three. All right, so with question three, so when a fridge cools from 24 degrees Celsius hmm, to negative five degrees Celsius, how many degrees has the temperature gone down? So we have a fridge at 24 degrees Celsius. Now it came down to negative five. So I mean at, at this level it is, I mean it is freezing. You get it? Good. So how many um, how many degrees has the temperature gone down? It is twenty nine degrees. Hmm? It is twenty nine degrees. It has gone down by twenty nine degrees. Because twenty four this twenty four that has gone down by twenty nine will give you the negative five. Hmm? Are you okay? good it has gone down by 29 degrees you go and subtract the 24 from the 29 you get negative 5. that's why we are saying it has gone down by 20 so the answer for number three is d number three is d okay let's go to um question four question four a parent invited 12 children to her daughter's birthday party she has a box containing 129 toffees. What is the smallest number of toffees, toffees that must be added so that each child has the same number? Hmm? So um, let's let's understand this. A parent, he the parent invited 12 um, children to um, to her daughter's birthday party. Hmm? When they came, the children are 12. The parent has only 129 toffees. When the parent shares the 129 toffees, some of them will get more than the other. But the parent is not a cheat. And so the parent wants to make sure every child gets equal part. So the question is asking you, what is the smallest number that we must add to the 129 so that each child will get the same number? So that each child will get what? Will get the same number number you get it good now if you look at this question if you look at this question um let's divide 129 over 12 hmm? let's divide 129 over 12 uh 129 divided by 12 you get 10.75 so it means that when the parents share the 129 among the 12, each of them will get 10.75. But we don't know that how, how, how the parents share this 10.75. Are we okay? And so we have to add some to this so that we can get more than 10.75. You get it? Good. And so the nearest number is 11, right? The nearest number is 11. So uh, 
let x be the smallest number be the smallest number the smallest number so we have 129 we are adding x to it over the children are 12 we need to get each children should get 11 because realize that the closest number to the 10.75 is 11 mm -hmm. so this multiplies so we get 129 plus x is equal to 132 so x equal to 3 and so when we add 3 to the 129 toughest each child will get 11 toughest so it means that we will share the toughest equally you mm? will share the toughest what equally example you have um five five um five fanta drinks eh? five fanta drinks and then you called you call three people that you want to share it among them equally now we know that um when three people come to share five apples some will get more than the other but you are not a cheat and so you want them to get equally and so you have to add some to the five so that everybody will get equal you get it now you can see that when you add one to five you get six apples so the six apple when you share the six apples to the three everybody will get two 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 it is similar to this the parent called 12 children the parent has 129 toughies but when he shares the toughies it will be 10.75 mm -hmm. so there is no way that the parent can share 10.75 so the question says um how many does the woman have to ha add before the parent can share this toughies equally amongst the the kids you get it good and so we just did it that okay the closest number to this 10.75 is 11 you get it and so 129 plus that number that that number of toughies that we have to add over the number of children is equal to 11 so when you do you get three so the answer is x equal to three so b for question for question four so b for question four all right now let's go to um question five let's go to question five with question five he says that abu and abba share 2400 cities in the ratio two is to three abu abba they shared 2004 in the ratio 2 is to 3. So the first ratio is for the first person. So Abu is first. This is this. Abba is second. This. Hmm? Good. And in ratio, when you are giving the ratio, you have to add the ratio. So 2 plus 3 is what? It's 5. 2 plus 3 is 5. Now the total amount is what? 2,400. 2,400. Now you've been asked to find how much did Abba receive. This is Abba. So this is Abba. Eh? So Abba will be 3. Abba's ratio over the total ratio times the amount, which is 2,400. So when you do this, you will get 1,440. So the answer for number 5 is C. So if the question has asked you, um, find Abu's share. Abu, this is Abu, this is Abu's ratio. So 2 over the total, 2 over 5 times 2,400. Are you okay? Good. Now let's go to question 6. Let's go to question 6. Now with question 6, it says Jane and Joyce were examined in a speed test in typing a message. Jane finished in 9 minutes and Joyce finished in 12 minutes. If Jane typed 100 words per minute, what was Joyce's speed measured in words per minute? So they, they, they both went for a competition and then they were examined based on who can type faster. And so um, Jane, Jane finished in 9 minutes. Eh? Jane finished in nine minutes 
and then Joyce Joyce finished in 12 minutes Joyce finished in 12 minutes mm -hmm. so the so so they've all been given one work mm? they've all been given one work one work as in if they are typing a book they are all typing the same book the same number of words but jane finished in nine minutes joyce finished in 12 minutes it means this person was faster than joyce so jane was faster than joyce and then they says that if jane typed 100 words per minute now the question is giving you clue as to how to solve the problem so if this gene typed 100 words per minute, gene, gene, 100 words per minute. Mm? And then now the question said that gene finished in 9 minutes. So if gene finished in 9 minutes, then it means that for the whole work, it was 900 words that they were just typing. Mm? Because it said that gene finished the work in 9 minutes. Pram, pram. Jane, Jane finished. Now the question is telling us again that Jane typed every minute. Be uh, Jane used hundred. Jane typed hundred words, and so if Jane is able to finish this whole work in nine minutes, and then Jane typed hundred words per minute, then it means that the the workload was nine hundred words. So the total work to type. Mm, the total work to type is what. Is nine minutes times hundred, which is what nine hundred. So the total to type. So the work was nine hundred what nine hundred words. So the question says if we if we, if now now that we've been able to find the total work or the total number of words to type in the work, then we can be able to then we'll be able to find the um. Joyce speed measured in words per minute. Now they say that Joyce also finished hers in 12 minutes. And then this is this is the total. And so if you want to find Joyce work, it is the total the total work over the Joyce. Joyce own. Joyce finished. Which is 12 minutes. And so there's 900 over Joyce time is 12. So 900 divided by 12 is 75. Is 75. So it tells you that while Jane was typing 100 words every minute, Joyce also was typing 75 words every minute. That was why Jane even finished on time than Joyce. And so um, for every minute, Joyce was typing 75 minutes. And so the answer is A. The answer is A for for number six for number six now let's go to number seven let's go to num number seven okay with number seven we've been given two time mm, two times and then if you look at the time well mm, we have start of the school start of the school and then we have end of school and of school all right so start of the school if you look at the time well you will see that um, for the start of the school the shorter one is on the eight and then the longer one is at the six and so if you read it the start of the school is 8 30 a.m. 8 30 a.m. And then the end of the school, the shorter one is on the 2, the longer one is on the 12. And so it means that they closed at 2 p.m. 2 p.m. All right. So the, the question says, how long is the school day? How long, how long is the school day? How long is the school day? Now, a school started at 8.30 a.m., closed at 2 p.m. So how long... It means that you just have to subtract the time they started from the time eight they ended. I've told you this that any time you are subtracting an AM from a PM, make sure you convert the PM to a GMT time. And so this two PM is the same as fourteen o'clock. 
it's the same as 14 o'clock hope you understand this you just add 12 to to the first one to the first um to the first number that's to the hour side just add this 12 to this one are you okay good and so you just have to subtract so now the 2 p.m is now 14 0, 0. and then the start is 8 30 a.m so we just subtract so 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 3 is what so you go and borrow now when you travel to this side and then you borrow to this and the moment it comes here it doesn't become one it becomes six it becomes what it becomes six when it moves from the hour side to the minute side when it moves from the hour side to the minute side it, it is not one it, it is six all right so now we have here six so six minus three is three so you bring your colon so now here is three hmm? so now we have 13 here so 13 minus 8 is what is 5 is 5 so it means that the school lasts for 5 hours 30 minutes 5 hours 30 minutes so now the answer for number 7 is C the answer for number 7 is C all right so now let's go to um, question number eight let's go to question number eight let's go to question number eight listen to the question number it says if the last 80 minutes of the school was spent on reporting activity at what time exactly did the activity begin so if the last 80 minutes of the school day was spent on a sporting activity at what time exactly did the sporting activity begin this is simple assuming um you go to church or you close church at at um at 8 p.m you close church at 8 p.m and then anytime you are about closing the church that is about 30 minutes to the close of the church the pastor lets you speak in tongues for 30 minutes or the pastor lets you speak in tongues anytime you are about closing church that is 30 minutes to the time you close church the pastor lets you speak in tongues the pastor lets you speak in tongues and so if they ask you what time do you start speaking in tongues it's just a matter of um, subtracting 30 minutes from the 8 p.m and so you can tell the person okay when it is 7 30 p.m we speak in tongues how did you get this you got it by subtracting 30 minutes from 8 p.m so it is similar to this that they close at 2 p.m they close at 2 p.m but 18 minutes to the time they close they will do sports so they are telling you what time do does they do they um start the sporting activity so we know they close at 2 p.m which is the same as 4 14 0, 0. so we just subtract the 80 minutes from this 2 p.m now 80 minutes is the same as 1 hour 20 minutes i hope you are we are aware good so now let's subtract 0 minus 0 is 0 0 minus 2 so you just have to go and borrow so when you go here and then borrow when it travels it is not one it becomes six so here it becomes six right so six minus two is what is four it's four now here is 30 so 30 minus one is 12. so it means that when the time is 12 40 pm that is when they start the sports activity so if you look at the options the answer is d the answer is d for question number eight the answer is d for question number eight all right so let's go to question number nine for question number nine there are 22 boys and 18 girls in a class a prefect is to be selected from the class what is the probability that a girl a girl is selected at a is selected as a prefect now you see what is a, that a girl now we have 22 boys 
we have 22 boys and then we have 18 girls so there are 40 people in the class right good now i've been told that what is the probability that if a if a student is to be chosen at random what is the probability that that student is a girl and so girl you take the probability so it is girl the girl is 18 the number of the number of students in the class is 40. so this is the answer 18 over 40 but you can break it down two will go here nine two will go here 20. so it's nine over what 20. if they had asked you what's the probability that a boy chosen at random is selected as the prefect a boy so you take the boy which is 22 over 40. so two go here 11 two go here 20. so you get 11 over 20. but this question they asked us a girl a girl and so it is 18 the girl is 18 so 18 over 40. so you divide both sides by two you get nine over 20. good so the answer is c for number nine is c for number nine okay Right, so let's go to number 10 um, a student average score in four papers in a monthly test was 60.5 percent the scores in the first three papers were 72 percent 58 percent 68 percent respectively what was the score in the fourth paper and so with the average just as we've learned we know that the average is equal to the total or the sum over the number to the number of what we are talking about and so if they are we are talking about ladies how many ladies there are 20 over here you get it now if you look at this we've been given the average as 60.5 so average 60 we've been given the average as 60.5 equal to total so we add everything everything there so there are four so 72 plus 58 plus 68 plus the last one we don't know that's what the question told us to find x we don't know and so 68 plus x all over how many are they there are four good there are four right and so we just multiply both sides by the denominator and so it will be 60.5 60.5 times 4 equal to so you add the so you add what is on the top and so it will be 72 72 plus 58 plus 68 you get 198 so 198 plus x plus x sorry plus x so 60.5 60.5 times 4 you get 242 right 242 equal to 198 plus x mm -hmm. so 242 minus 198 is equal to x so x is x is 44 since the question was in percentage so it becomes 44 percent 44 percent good so the answer is 44 percent which is a so number 10 is a number 10 is a all right so now let's go to question 11 question 11 okay question 11 another simple simple question it says that uh, a saloon car traveling from town x towards town y met a taxi traveling from town y towards town x if at the meeting point the saloon car had covered 183,000 764 meters while the taxi had covered 31,806 meters what is the distance between the two towns to the nearest kilometer 
okay so now we have two things here the saloon car and then the taxi so and then the saloon car the saloon car is moving from town a the taxi is moving from town b so let's say this is town a hmm? let's say this is town a and then this is town this is town b and yeah, this is town b now the saloon car is here it is moving to this side the taxi is here it is moving to this side so let's say this is the saloon car and then this is the taxi hmm? so this is the saloon car this is the taxi now this is going here this is coming here hmm? now uh, if a saloon car traveling from town x towards town y met a taxi so this was going this was also coming now they met let's say they met here let's say the two cars met here hmm? now when they met this saloon car had moved from town a to this side this one was moved from town b to this side but the distance that this car had covered from town a to the meeting point was one eight three seven six four and this one too had moved a distance of thirty one thousand eight hundred and sixteen meters hmm? good now we've been told um, what is the distance between the two towns it's just simple you are here hmm? you are here you have moved this saloon guy is here. You have moved uh you when you reached here, this one you have moved out here. Now the distance from town A to your meeting point is this. This one too is this. So what is the distance between this? Hmm? It's just a matter of just adding these two. You get it? Because this move from here reached here, this move from here. So if you want to find from here to here, you just have to add these two. Simple as that. So let's add this. One eight three seven six four plus thirty one eight one six. This is zero. This is eight. This is six. This is five. This is six. This is five. This is one. And this is two. So this is the distance two hundred and fifteen thousand six hundred and eighty meters. But we've been asked to convert this to the nearest kilometer. You know that 1,000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. And so, this all this will, will go away. Mm? All this will go away because you are converting it to kilometer. And so, the last three will go. When the last three goes, now we have 215. Right? 215. But we should note that the last three, the the six this one was get is greater than five and so it will affect this one and so this one becomes two one six rather two one six kilometers are we okay good and so if you are to convert this two hundred and fifteen thousand six hundred and eighty meters to kilometers the answer is two hundred and sixteen kilometers so the correct answer for question eleven is B two hundred and sixteen kilometers i hope we, we we understand good now let's go to question number 12 question number 12 so the numeracy is not difficult eh? the numeracy is not difficult it's just you just have to read the question and then just understand it's a simple add and subtract add and subtract you get it uh -huh. just think that's why when some people put some questions on the page i tell them they shouldn't even worry themselves trying to um, learn all these things because numeracy is simple just read understand just add and subtract now let's look at this question number 12 you've been given pattern hmm? you've been given pattern pattern one pattern two pattern three pattern four now if you look at pattern one you could see that they are three the pattern is three eh? if you look at pattern two you can see they are five pattern three is seven then pattern four is nine so if you are very observant, you could see that when it moves from one pattern to another, it has two to it. When it was here, it added two. So we had five. It added two. 
we had seven, we added two, we had nine. And so that is the pattern that we will go. So if the question says that how many matchsticks will be used for the ninth pattern? Will be used for the ninth pattern. So let's see first pattern, second pattern, third pattern, fourth pattern is this. Okay. Now the fifth pattern will be eleven. Six thirteen. Seventh fifteen. Eighth seventeen. Ninth nineteen. And so, how many mastic will be needed for the ninth pattern? Is what? 19. Are you okay? So, number 12 is... Number 12 is D. Number 12 is D. Hmm? Okay. Now, the question is, which pattern will require 31 match stick? Which pattern will require 31 match stick? Okay. So, now, if the ninth pattern is 19... Okay, now, let's continue. So, you mean that now the 10th pattern will be 21, 11th pattern will be 23, um, 12th pattern will be 25, 13th pattern will be 27, 14th pattern will be 29, 15th pattern will be 31, 16th, 15th pattern will be 31. And so, which pattern will require 31 master is what is 15. So the 15th pattern will require 31 match stick. And so the number 13 is B. Number 13 is B. Okay, that's good. So that is it. So this one is just you just have to look. Yeah, you just have to look. You can see that every pattern, the first pattern was three. The pattern two increased by two. The pattern three also increased by two. So you see that it's plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two. Plus two. So we just addition them, then you are good to go. Okay, so let's go to number 14. Let's go to number 14. So with number 14, Araba ordered 50 sachet of water, but the seller sent one and a half times as many. How many sachet did she receive? So a lady of Araba offered 50 sachet. You told the seller, oh, I need 50 sachet. But the seller didn't bring 50. The seller brought one and a half times as many as what she ordered. So one and a half is this. One and a half. Which is the same as 1.5. I hope you understand. Good. So there are one, point, one and a half times as many. So 1.5 times the 50 that she ordered. Right? So 1.5 times 50 is 75. So instead of the 50 Araba ordered, the seller brought 75. Are you okay? Good. So, if the question had said, uh, if the seller um, brought um, two times as many as she wanted, two times, we've had been two times 50, which is 100. So, I said three times as many, it would be three times 50, which is 150. But this question, the seller said one and a half times, and one and a half is this, the same as 1.5. So, 1.5 times 50. Which is 75 are we okay good so 75 so the answer is c so 14 the answer is c okay so now let's go to another question uh, question number 15 yahaya a tailor started sewing an agbada dress at 9 45 a.m he completed the dress at 12 30 p.m how long did he take to sew the dress? How long did he take to sew the dress? So, if someone started work at 9.45 a.m. And then completed at uh, 12.30 p.m. 12.30 p.m. So, what do you do? If you, if you, if you walk from your house... You started from your house maybe at 9 a.m. Then you got to the school at 3 p.m. And then someone asked, How long were you on the road walking? It's just three hours. It's just a matter of just 12 minus 9, which is three hours. It's similar to this. Someone started at 9 45 a.m. The person finished at 12 30. So, how long did he take in sewing the dress? Just a matter of just subtracting. So, 12 30 p.m. Always. Make sure you subtract 
um, the the time he finished minus the time he started always the time he finished minus the time he started so 12 30 minus 9 45 okay so let's subtract now 0 minus 5 it's not possible and so we both sum from here so it is 10 right 5 so now here is now 2 now 2 minus 4 it's not possible and so you have to cross now i've told you the moment you cross and you borrow when you are bringing it it is no it is not 10 it is 6 it is not 1 it is 6 you can see that when we borrowed from the same side it was 10 but with this one we are traveling and so they say they won't give you the 10 they'll give you 6 and so when you borrow from this side it becomes what 6 we have 2 already here, so it is 6 plus 2, we get 8. So 8 minus 4 is 4. Now here is 1, so now we have 11. So 11 minus 9 is 2. So it means that the tailor, Yahaya, used 2 hours, 45 minutes in sewing the Agbada. Good, he used 2 hours, 45 minutes in sewing the Agbada. So the answer for number 15 the answer for number 15 is, uh, is um, C. It's C. Okay. Now let's go to question number 16. Question number 16. Now if you look at question number 16, it says that um, given that given that um, a gallon of emulsion paint can be used to paint an area of 10 meters square so you have an area of 10 meters square um, how many gallons will be needed to paint a rectangular back wall a rectangular back wall of of a classroom 6.5 meters wide 6.5 meters wide and then four meters high so this is very simple they've, they've said that um one gallon you can use one gallon to paint an area of 10 meters square now the question is okay now we have a rectangle this is the, these are the sides of the rectangle how many gallons can paint these sides of the rectangle it's just simple if you look at the first clue it has given you an area and so you have to calculate the area before you even you can continue doing your work and so you just area is equal to length times breadth right right good and so 4 times 6.5 which is 26 so the area for this rectangle is 26 meters square and so if one gallon if one gallon eh, can paint a 10 meter square then how many gallons can paint 26 meters square how many we just cross multiply mm -hmm. so it becomes 10 X is equal to 26 divide both side by 10 both side by 10 so you get x equal to what 2.6 so the number of gallons that can paint this is 2.6 gallons are you okay so the answer is c the answer is c for number 16 for number 16 all right so now let's go to number 17 let's go to number number 17 where is number 17 okay i think i'm um, the number 17 to number I don't have it here but I'll work on that when I get it so let's jump to number 21 so let's jump to number 21 so number 21 it says they've given you a diagram mm, if you look at the diagram well it says that the distance between the church and the airport on the map is 15 centimeters how far is the airport from the church on land now you could see the airport and you could see the church over there. Now if they say the distance is 15 centimeters, 
we are looking at question 21 the distance is 15 centimeters that is the distance between the airport and then the church is 15 centimeters now the question is asking you um, how far is the airport from the church now if you look at the scale given you would see that they say every centimeter is five kilometers so if one if one centimeter equal to five kilometers then this 15 centimeters will be equal to what so you just do cross multiply so 15 times 15 is 75 one x is x so it means that the, the the distance or how far is 75 kilometers so 75 kilometers right good so the answer for 21 is c for 21 is c okay what is the direction of the church from kofi's house now let's look at where kofi's house you could see you could see kofi's house in the middle right okay and you could see the, where the church is. So before Kofi can get to the church, the Kofi has to go right and then goes up. So we call it north east. North east. So it means Kofi has to do this. If Kofi is here, the church is also here. Hmm? So if Kofi has to Kofi has to go north and then go east. So Kofi has to go here and then go east. So we say north east. And so the answer for question 22 is A. Question 22 is A. Alright, so let's go to question 23. Let's go to question 20. Another simple question. Another simple question. They've given you a diagram like this. They say here, here is 50, um, here is 100, here is Y, here is 120, here is 50, right? Okay, and then they've asked you to find Y, they've asked you to find this side, Y. Now before we begin, let's do something. If here is 50, now let's let's use broken lines to go. And yeah, let's use broken lines to do this. Okay. Now okay, so let's use broken lines here. Right, okay, good. Now if this side is 50, if this top is 50, it means that this down to is 50. If here is 120, it means that this side is 120 if this side is 50 mean that this side also is 50 hmm? now the whole of this side the question says 100 so if this part is 50 it means that this part will be 50 so that you can get 50 plus 50 is 100 are you okay good now so if this side if this side is 50 mean that this side also will be 50 so y is 50 so y equal to 50 i hope you get it good so the number 23 is d y is 50. now the question says the district 24 the district assembly wants to fence the parking lot how many meters of fencing materials will be required so just as i um i helped you with the perimeter i've told you perimeter talks about adding everything around an object and so if you have a triangle and they ask to find a perimeter you add what is here what is here and what is here. not what is inside you what is around it what is around it good so now if this is the if this is the object and they are telling you to find the perimeter of this you just add everything around it you get it so let's start from the top now the top is 50 so 50 plus now you add everything here now everything here is 100 now let's add everything here we have 50 we have 120 
they have 50 we have 120 we have 50 the y mm -hmm. and so when we add everything here we will get 540 meters 540 meters so the answer for question 24 is c answer for question 24 is c now let's go to question 25 Let's go to question 25. Okay. Let's go to question 25. Okay, so with question 25, we've been told that um, uh, Rab Beer 2 bought three tins of milk at 3 CD, 50 pesos each. She paid with a 20 CD note. How much change did she receive? How much in digit? So this is equally a simple one. She, she goes to the market. She buys three tins of milk. Three tins of what? Of milk. At three CD, 50 pesos each. So each. So one tin is three CD, 50 pesos. One tin is three CD. So if you want to get the total cost of this, it is the three times 3.5, which is... 10.5 so the total amount she has to pay for this three things is 10 cd 50 pesos so she gave the woman 20 cities so if you want to get the change it's just 20 minus 10.5 which is 9.5 so she will take a change rabia two will take a, will take a change of 9 cd 50 pesos so the answer is b is b question 25 is is B. Now let's go to question number 26. Now if you look at 26, for this one, um, I think the uh, arrows weren't showing well. The arrows weren't showing well. But let's assume that, um, let's assume that where the arrow is, is if 1988 let's assume that let's assume it's at 1988 and then let's also assume that where the where the person completed was also um 2000 let's assume that one was 2012 they, they didn't show the arrow well and so we are just assuming hmm? So I believe when you get similar question, they will show the arrow well. So the question says that um, state uh, and state the year she was born, and so you assume she was born in 1988, and the the age at which she completed university, the age at which she completed. So it's just a matter of just 2012 minus 1988. So this is two minus eight. So you just don't borrow ten. So four. Yes, yeah, zero. Eh? So nine ten. So here will be two. Here become nineteen. Nineteen minus nineteen. It just goes. So twenty-four yet. And so um Emifa was born in nineteen eighty eight. And then Emifa completed the university at the age of twenty-four years. So the answer, according to me, is A. But just as I said, that is how to, to, to work this. It's unfortunate they didn't show the arrows well. Okay. Now, we've been given a 27. We've been given a, a, a simple question too. A very simple one. Which says that um, from town A. Let's say this is town A. From town A. Yeah, walks eight kilometers north, to north, to town B. So let's say this is town B. Eight kilometers north, on a straight path. Then six kilometers east, six kilometers east, to what? To town C. What is the shortest distance to town C from A? So, Yao. Uh, yeah, I wanted to go here, and so yeah, I went 
here and then also went here and the question is asking what is the shortest the shortest is just to go this side right just to go this side as simple as that now the moment this side forms a right angle you get to this side form a right angle and so the moment you get it, it means you have to use the Pythagoras theorem so this side is the hypotenuse this can be the adjacent or the opposite you get it and so it says that the length of the AC square so AC square the longer one is equal to you add um, AB square plus BC square so the Pythagoras say the length of the longest side the square of the square of the longest side is equal to the length of these two shortest you add them the square of each of them a b square plus b c now a c we don't know a c square hmm? a c square is equal to now a b is eight square b c is six so six square eight square is sixty four six square is thirty six so you get hundred so a c square is equal to hundred but you want a c so we find the square root of this so a c then you bring the square root on this hundred so now a c is equal to ten is equal to ten and so the shortest distance is just to go this way which will give you ten so instead of going eight plus six fourteen kilometers before you get here why don't you use this short way ten to get to this side so that was fast. So the answer for 27 is D. Is D. Okay. Now let's go to um, 28. Question number 28. Alright, so with 28, it says that a water a water tank is a cube of two meters. Cube of two meters. Cube of two meters. What is the volume? Of water if it is half full volume if half full so if the side of this cube is two meters let's find the volume of water that it can contain so volume is what two times two times two that length times breadth times height so length times breadth times height because it is a cube all the sides are equal mm -hmm. it's just that the chocomilo that you buy See, all the sides are equal. It's a cube. And so the volume of water that can go into this cube is 2 times 2 times 2, which is what? 8 meters cube. Cube. You get it? Good. And so, 8. The water can hold... Um, the water can hold this, this volume of water. But the question says that um, if it is half full, so if it is half full, it means that half... Half full which is 4 or 8 over 2 which is 4 so if it is half full it means it will be what 4 4 meter cube are you okay yeah so the answer is uh, the answer is B B for number 28 now let's go to 29 fast 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 Let's go to 29. Let's go to 29. 29, if you look at the 29 question, it tells you this is a Venn diagram question. This is what? A Venn diagram question. This is a... This is a Venn diagram question. Okay, now let's look at it. It says that 50... 50% of the people in a village speak Akan. 50% of the people in a village speak Akan and uh, and 75% speak Dangbe. Some speak both languages. Um, no other language is spoken in the in the village. What percentage of the people in the village speak both Akan and Dangbe? And so this one is in percentage and so for the purpose of calculation you put the um, percentage aside so that you add the percentage to the final answers that you get so let's draw our venn diagram nicely
Now the union is hundred, right? Hundred, because we're using percentage. So the union is hundred. Now uh, we have two languages. We have Akan and then we have Dangbe. So Akan and then Dangbe. Now it says that the Akan is fifty. Akan fifty. Dangbe is uh, seventy-five. Hmm? Dangbe is what? Seventy-five. Okay. So if Dangbe is seventy-five. If Dangbe is 75, and then we don't know those who speak both languages. The question is some. We don't know, so some. And so here becomes 50 minus x. Here becomes 75 minus x. So let's solve. So 50 minus x plus x plus 75 minus x is what? 100. So this will cancel this because it is negative positive so now you have 50 plus 75 minus x is equal to 100 so 50 plus 75 is what is 1 2 5 minus x is what 100 so you find x to be 125 minus 100 is equal to x so 25 is equal to x so you know that x is what 25 so if you want to get so this x is here to so the both students so the both uh, the number of people who speak both account and down is 25 percent and then 25 percent is a is a to the last question to the last question to the last question um, when 3 is subtracted from 2 times the number, so let x be the number. Let x be the number. When 3 is subtracted from 2 times the number, so this is 2 times a number, and then 3 is subtracted from this. 3 is subtracted from this. The result is 7. So find x. So just 2x is equal to 7 plus 3. 2x is equal to 10. 2x divide both sides by 2. Uh, you get 5. So x equal to 5. So the correct answer is C. The correct answer is C. And so um, I believe... Um, We've been able to solve all the questions uh, except the number 17 to the 20 which i don't have it here and so when i get the question now I'll, I'll solve it and then i'll get it to you right uh, so thank you so much have a beautiful have a beautiful day bye bye